Hello YouTube, Pear Shape Brit here. Okay, so we've done the Zavi Z box. So, what's next? Pop in the box. Pop in the box is a UK subscription company based solely on everything to do with Funko. How they first started focusing on the Funko Pops themselves, they're now branched into everything else that Funko has done, such as Funko Home, T-shirts, Hikaris, the Dorbs, even their little keychains, everything that Funko does, Pop in the Box will try to do. One of the biggest aspects of the Pop in the Box subscription service is the fact you can customise it. So you have an entire long list of everything that they can offer for you and you can pick and choose which sections you want, such as if you want Marvel, you can have Marvel, if you want WWE, music based Funko Pops. You can also like and dislike the Funkos that are within each and every series. So again, really customise it to what you want. One thing that Pop in the Box has is their massive database it is huge it has basically everything currently at the moment related to Funko Company I really suggest checking them out just to see the database and just seeing what else there is one other thing about the pop in the box subscription service is the fact that you can pick how many Funko Pops are sent you it goes from one Funko Pop a month right all the way up to 12 I will link in the description below the first two videos I did of, I've done of pop of the box because the, the list is just huge and there's a lot there there. Unfortunately, um, the prices does not actually include the postage. Postage is about £3.95 per box. However, it ranges from 1 or 12. You're only paying postage for one box rather than a whole set, which is really cool. But here we go. There you are. Let's see what they sent me. First one is Magic the Gathering. Chandra Nala. Okay, she's quite cute. I like the hair. There's a bit of a mark on the Funko on the hair there. Just see there's a little bit of a mark. It's a shame about the mark, but overall it's a really cool little Funko. Next, the Star Wars one. It's a clone trooper. Again, if you notice, there is a little back card in the box. Probably means that, because I think probably Disney can afford it, that Funko uh, kind of over embellished the Disney Funko Pops. Uh, another bobblehead. Paintwork isn't as good on this one, unfortunately. It's scuffed there. It's not the best paintwork in the world for this one. It's not bad. Yeah, you can still remove the base. Base itself is looking a bit scratched, which is a bit of a disappointment if you can compare it to like the other three Star Wars pops I've got. But overall, it's really cute. Bit of a shame on the paintwork, but I'm not too fast. I rather like that. Pop in the Box sent me Magic of the Gathering and Star Wars. Always love Pop in the Box, it's always great to see. Um, the fact that I can customise it to my liking is great. If you really like what you see with the Pops and interested in the Pop in the Bob subscription, check out the link below. It will also give you 20% off your first box, so wherever you get one Pop, two, five, or even 12, you get 20% off your first ever Pop in the Box subscription. That's two down of my subscription boxes. I've still got a lot more to do this month. Cannot wait. But until then, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, YouTube!